So, ladies and gentlemen, I've been working on a build for a while. This is a nasty build, meaning it's not a respectful macro opening. To the contrary, it seeks to put some speed zerglings into the Terran base at a thoroughly inconvenient time to apply pressure, sometimes kill the opponent outright. It all depends on how prepared they are and how surprised they are by the build. So I'm going to show you a best case scenario to begin with here. This was a best case scenario situation. To start, the basic opening is building two drones, up to 14 supply, and then taking a gas. So you see I have my first drone, and then my second drone. This first drone immediately goes into the gas, and then I drone to 14 again. The second egg here is going to be rallied over to build a pool. If you can manage it, you want to have two drones on the close mineral patches before the long ones. It gives you a little bit more income. And here I'm going to make one more drone. So I'm droning up to 14. Putting three workers in the gas as soon as it's up. And then I'm going to make an overlord. This second overlord I just put outside the natural expansion so I can see if there are marines and SCVs for a bunker rush or something. This first overlord goes across the map to see what the opening is and also distract the Terran. When it pops, three drones. And then you want to watch your gas here. Whenever you get 92, pull one off. 96, pull one off. And then you'll have your last gas to get to 100 and pull that one off as well. So you pull fully off gas. Ling speed as soon as you can. And then one pair of lings. And then send a drone down to take an expansion. So this is taking an expansion before a queen, which is how the gasless 12 pool expand build works in ZBZ. So we take this base, and then we're going to make more lings before a queen. This is all centered around trying to get lings in the Terran base right when the Reaper arrives at your base. And they're trying to get their add-on up, and they're trying to get their expansion up. Because look at how exposed this is. This is really hopeful that the Zerg is going to go hatch first, or at least a 17 pool. This is kind of walled off, but Terrans can't repair an add-on. It is noteworthy that I'm sending my Lings up here first. They're specifically trying to dodge the Reaper, so I'm not taking the fastest route to the Terran base. I'm taking a scenic route, so I don't cross this Reaper. A Reaper is going to destroy slow Zerglings, but speed Zerglings can really bully the Reaper around. So my queen was made at 20 supply, and then I made an overlord at 22 supply. Good to note. Expansion's going up. If you want to, you can change your rally point for the main to the natural whenever it's convenient. But this is only 8 lings. It's just 8 speed zerglings. And they're being sent up here, and then over and around and into the base. I'll show you my vision. So the Reaper's arriving, and I'm making drones. I don't need to make more lings. I'm going to transition off the back of this. I'm queuing up a second queen in the main. The queen in the main can defend the drones against the Reaper if they try to deal damage to you. And then here, lings are ready to go. So once the lings are at the base, it's all about the low-hanging fruit you can grab. If there are workers, kill them. If there's an add-on being made, kill it. If the door is open, run in. A lot of times they don't expect for speed to kick in at this point. They know your base is late, but it's a little bit difficult to read exactly when that's going to happen. And if the Reaper is across the map, there's not too much they can do anyway. Save from cancel this, raise the door, try to make Hellions, keep the Marine back. But this build is especially punishing to players who make a single Marine to try and shoot the Overlord. Because this guy does nothing to 8 speed zerglings. He's just insta-dead. So the lings are killing some stuff. I'm controlling this space here. I specifically put the lings on the supply depot to attack this add-on. This is delaying the tech of the Terran. And if you think about add-ons for Terran buildings, they're really dense for their value. So there's a lot of money per health. This is 400 health for a 50 mineral 50 gas structure that's really crucial for them to be able to make lots of units. This has 1250 health, this has 1000 health, depots have 400 health. So 
for this to have 50 gas in it and be low health. And in addition to that, it's still in construction, so it can't be repaired. So this is a really awesome target for this, if you can manage it. And if I can, I can split off some lings over to kill this reaper. But yeah, this is effectively killing the Terran in this case. And this would be a best case scenario. You don't always kill the opponent outright with the build. What you're doing behind this is you're making queens. You notice I have some minerals here. I can make a queen here and I can send a drone out to take a third base. And then it just turns into a normal macro game where you have your same pieces of three bases, some queens for injects and creep spread. You have good mineral income because you pulled off gas and it just turns into a regular ZVT. This is a nice little nasty way to set the opponent off balance.